Hey guys, happy Thursday. We made it to Thursday. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're going to do today. We are, uh, we are going to, what are we going to do? We're going to look at another myth. Okay, we're going to look at grace. Okay, then we're going to do, find our evidence. Miss Hyde has our um, phonics for us. Okay. Um, we have an activity. Boys and girls, some of you are skipping the phonics activities. Let's don't do that. Okay, let's go ahead. Even if you skip the videos because you know all of it, still do the activities. That's just a good practice for you. Okay, so then we have the listening. Now you're actually going to listen. There's not a video for today, so I need you to listen. Um, and then you're going to describe what happens. That's a way, guys, when you describe, you summarize, that, that helps you to know you understand the story. Now, when we got to this part right here. I have a feeling you're not listening to the explanation here, which helps you understand how to do this part. Now, I worked with a couple of you yesterday. Boys and girls, when you look at this, the evidence, okay, it includes gods and goddesses. You are not just naming who was in it. You're telling me what happened with them. How do I know? Give me a detail in this story that proves they were in the story or that proves that they were a god or a goddess. Why is that important to the story? Yesterday in the arachnid, um, the fact that she was a goddess, what difference did that make to the story? Okay. Um, someone said that she was in the story and the girl. Well, what girl? So you need to make sure that you're telling the details from the story. Who are the heroes and monsters? Okay, they aren't always a monster monster, but who were the good guys and bad guys? Sometimes look at it that way. Who was the hero that could have, that was the good guy in the story? So depending on what the story is, okay, and don't just tell me it was a creation myth that told what came, what came to be, okay? What, what, what were they explaining in this story? That's the detail. Now, how did they explain it? That's the elaboration. Okay? So this, ex and I don't know what it was. Let's say ex it explained how ra raccoons got their mask. That is not what this is for. But anyway, let's say it was. So let's say that's what they were describing. Well, here I would tell in the elaboration, I would, I would explain how that happened. Okay? That's that why is it important that's the elaboration that's making it make sense okay so it's very important guys that you fill this in not with two words now these are we're past thin answers we are past right there answers these are things that you have to really think about and i loved the students that i was working with yesterday they really had to stop and think that's what this is there are no right there who is it? Yes, that's right there. But you've got to go back to the details from the story. And then why is that important? Those are answers that you aren't, it's not going to be a one word answer, guys. You have to do more and you need to keep watching your email through the day in case I send something back to you. Okay. All right. So let's go back. That's, that's it for today, for Thursday, guys. You are going to go through your phonics. You're going to listen to your story. You may listen to it more than once. You may read it yourself. You're going to give uh, what's happening. So you're doing a summary. Tell me what kind of myth it is, creation or morality. And then what was the theme? Okay, guys, what is the theme? Don't tell me the theme is a morality myth. No, it's not. That's not a theme. That's the type of myth. Theme is what is the big picture? What is the big story they're trying to tell? You know, um, the one about uh, Pandora's box. Okay, the theme of that is that even with all the bad stuff happening, hope is still there. You know, it was a lesson on hope or how hope came um, into the world. But that was, that could have been the theme too. Okay, so think about the theme. Then you're going to go on to dig that apart. Think about it. Okay, think about 
tear these little pieces up and give evidence, okay? All right, back to the front. All right, guys, that is today. Not a big day, and the fact that you are doing this over and over again should make it easier. If I tore that apart for yesterday and dug into the evidence and really thought about the purpose of it, should make doing it today for this story. And then again tomorrow, it's, it is helping us think in that direction, okay? We're trying to be good, deep thinkers, all right? Yay. All right. Love you guys. Loved listening to you read yesterday. I did not assign a flip grid today, but tomorrow, Flip It Friday. It's going to be a Flip It Friday with three things that I'm going to ask for, uh, for from you, not hard things. But um, anyway, so then those same th three things, when you look for my feedback from that, it'll be in there. Okay. So, but that's tomorrow. Today, no Flip It. No flip grid, no edge elastic. Now, if there's been an edge elastic this week or a flip grid, you need to make sure you've gone back and done it. You know, made that up. Okay? All right. Love you guys. Hey, keep sending me emails. I love seeing emails. Y'all have not been sending pictures either. Okay? Keep those coming. All right? Love you guys.